I am many things. I'm the president of the Borderless Trade Network. I love to serve women. I teach at the Lagos Business School every now and again. And I truly enjoy just sharing my knowledge in this industry. I've done many things, philanthropy. We help people wherever I am. It just has to be me and my family doing it, whether we're doing it in Liberia, Nigeria, prison outreach with friends, sisters, or mentees, or I'm in DC getting mentored myself, you know, trying to bridge this gap of women in business, or I'm consulting for a bank on their gender initiative. I believe the good thing is I get to do it with my kingdom sisters. Isn't that amazing? And we get to change lives, still doing what we want to do, collaborate with industry players, institutions like ECOAS. It's just amazing. Or sometimes I'm literally just supporting a friend who is a presidential aspirant. Or <laughs> I'm sitting behind a desk um, facilitating for the UN. Or I'm in the UK and I'm in ministry again, having a great time with amazing people who are truly, truly amazing. And then I pick my bag and back to work, you know? So that flexibility is the beauty. You get to be all these things to all these people. You make impact. You write books that will change lives, change businesses. You have a select group of people that you said, hey, I'm gonna look out for these guys and I'm gonna do it for the long haul. This isn't something you're doing for bish bash bosh. You're like, I wanna create a legacy through this work that I'm doing. So I hope that you find your tribe, the people you can do this with. You find people who are worth doing it for and you do it in the millions. I really hope that you push the boat out this year. You're not confused. Find people, they can help you. And don't be a loner like this picture. <laughs> and please collaborate with people. You know, we collaborated here with Mission Feed Foundation and it's okay to start small. Thank you, PJ. And of course, as the invitations come, just plan yourself, make sure you do it with the right places, um, the right people, and soon you will be a fixer because we need a lot of you to fix Africa. So I hope this helps and you begin to see a lot of lives change, transformed because you stepped up to your diverse expressions.